Good morning, folks. We've got solar flares continuing to erupt from the sunspots. We'll be taking a look at Centaurus A, solar climate forcing, and how the sun keeps outperforming expected Earth impact from space weather. But let's start with our star. We find the last 24 hours full of impulsive flaring. This is good, because if they weren't impulsive, several CMEs would have been launched from our star, and instead we've got ionospheric energization only. You can see here on the X-ray flux chart the flare spikes, and these last couple M-class events on the right all came from the northern incoming group. It's not the only sunspot turning across the Earth-facing half right now, but it has been the most active. The flares created significant, but short-lived ionospheric absorption issues as we see here on the DRAP map. Impulsive impacts lasting only as long as the flares do. Luckily, the CMEs that have erupted have been confined to the filaments around the limbs, none directed at Earth, and there's another one top right lifting away here this morning. We will be keeping a close eye open for more solar activity today. Let's go out to Centaurus A where the nearby galaxy has been scoped in both low and high energy x-rays revealing the energetic signature of the region. Chandra's view shows the jet and north-south plumes of expanding material. The new composite shows the combination of that optical view and the two x-ray views for a serious reveal of what our eyes can't see. Good study up next, out early as a preprint from Springer. The paper copy won't be out until next month. It shows a clear solar effect on variable climate conditions, specifically having an impact on precipitation, and is one of the first such studies on this region of the southern hemisphere. This paper is a hydra of concern. It details how the observations of solar-induced electric current were way higher than what the models predicted would happen, by an order of magnitude. While it is concerning that the models failed to appropriately indicate the risk of geoelectric induction, the second head of this hydra is that a 10x underestimation is beyond explanation, unless there's something else going on. The best explanation for that is the one that also best explains all the other unexpected solar impacts over the last several years, that Earth's ongoing magnetic pole shift continues leaving us more and more vulnerable to space weather. If you missed last night's video, it had a great introduction to Earth spot physics, but we also announced that we'll be at the Minnesota Prepper Expo this summer. My talk is July 1st. You can get tickets at the link below. Yesterday was also the channel birthday, 12 years of suspicious observers. To celebrate, for today only, you can get our books in PDF form for way less than normal. Every observer should have this information from how space weather works to solar climate forcing, to the magnetic pole shift of Earth, to what's causing it and how it all works. Never going to be able to get all of these like this again at that price. Link to that is below as well. We greatly appreciate your support. Eyes on the sun. Subscribe and we'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.